Hello, this is Rich, and uh, today I just want to show you a um, little update on a uh, my RTS prototype. Um, it's going to be really quick here. I just want to show you that um, I've gone ahead and I modeled a uh, little cave looking type thing with uh, crystals uh, all over it. And um, this is for collecting uh, resources. And uh, this is a universal resource <clears throat> that any uh, clan uh, can gather from around the map. I just want to show you that I've implemented um, resource collection. Uh, it needs a lot, a lot of work. Um, as in so far, it only allows one person at a time to collect resources. Uh, you know, you can actually collect multiple people at one time, but it only registers uh, one person's resources that they've gathered. So that needs work on. Uh, I just wanted to show you something real quick. Um, about this and uh, again this is going to be a tutorial uh, at one point or another part of my uh, how to make a RTS game from start to finish in CryEngine uh, I just wanted to show you alright I'm going to jump right in game um, what you're going to notice here is um, I'm still in debugging stages so uh, these uh, borders uh, go left right up and down diagonals uh, to move uh, you know that um, they're not transparent anymore because uh, I was trying to do something really quick and I forgot to uh, put them back to transparent so just ignore that. Um, you're going to notice that I have another uh, icon here which you can see is the same picture of this here representing how many resources you have. This says you are uh, meaning universal resource uh, that's going to be changed um, dynamically um, after this guy has collected resources. Um, up in the top left hand corner you're going to see um, it update with how much resources he has gathered um, the speed he gathers uh, is modifiable through flow graph um, I just upped it really really quick so that way I can see right away whether I'm you know during debugging my flow graph I can see right away I don't want to have to wait uh, you, know, tw you know five minutes until he's done gathering so I just bumped up that time so that time would be a lot slower for gathering um, once it's all gathered that's how much he's currently holding and uh, after he's done, he's going to bring it to a base, um, and then it's going to add up to his, his uh, actual how many resources of this type he has here. Um, I don't have the base made yet, so it calculates and adds it to here once he's done. Uh, obviously, it's going to in the real version, it's going to uh, wait till he gets back to the base and drop it off to add here. Um, this is a custom entity, um, you know, it's a custom model as well. Uh, but it's also a custom entity. I had to use a custom entity uh, in order to uh, get this feature to work here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my guy. And if you notice, his behavior is going to change to gather resources. If I click action go to and then gather resources. And uh, keep an eye up on top left hand corner as well as the UR. And uh, when he's gathering, I'm going to show you this is how much he currently has for resources. Um, when it reaches 10, which is his max amount, you're going to notice that it adds uh, 10 down here to how much he has. He now has 10, so he's going to go back into the front of it. Um, what I'm going to do here, um, because there's a lot of uh, you know, errors in the script, um, I'm going to actually, uh, through scripting, modify this so that it has like um, designated spots all around this object here. You can't really see it in game, but it's going to be there in scripting where... Uh, these people are gonna go around. If there's more than one person, um, more than one person gathering, it's gonna have multiple slots where they can actually fill. So multiple people could be gathering at one time. Currently, this guy goes to the back of this to gather, um, and until he moves, no other person could go in there because he's in the way. So to avoid that, I'm gonna add scripting to uh, add designated slots that are invisible all around here, so they can fill up these slots when they go. I have ten here because that's how much he was currently holding and this is how much he has uh, total for your resources. So let's go back and let's grab some more and I want to show you what happens here. <clears throat> it's gathering. Um, it does not uh, gather um, point whatever it only takes the uh, 8, 9, 10, it only takes whole numbers. After he's gathered, you can see he now has 20. So it, it got the uh, addition working. Uh, 
to here now. Let me go back and let me stop at five. And like I said, if it's 5.5, 5.7, it's only gonna take five because I don't wanna deal with decimals in my game, just whole numbers. So I get 20 now, let's stop at five, which will make it 25. Four, five, let me stop. If you can see down here, he's done. And now I have 25 when he drops it off at the base. So not only does he wait for the full 10 as a max he can carry, uh, if you stop early, he'll also ca keep carrying uh, the stuff he had last. Hold on a second. Yeah. All right, then. That's just all I wanted to show you guys. And uh, thank you very much. Leave comments and uh, let me know how we did, if, if this is cool or not. And suggestions. Thank you. Bye.